after years of waiting and dealing with devices that you just throw away after a year, like the Tile Slim or the Chipolo card, and dealing with devices that have proprietary wires, finally, someone has come up with the world's first wireless rechargeable wallet Bluetooth tracker. Let's check out the Safe Dome. Welcome back, my name is Eric and you're watching Modern Day Tech, where I like to do tech reviews and sometimes how to do's on anything that can help you and your family out. So like I mentioned, this is the world's first wireless rechargeable Bluetooth tracker. After years and years of different Bluetooth tracker reviews, someone has finally came out with one. I've done a lot of reviews on tiles and Chipolos and trackers, and I thought one of those major companies would come out with it first, but someone beat them to the punch and the company is called Safe Dome. If you're brand new Bluetooth trackers, they are simple devices that connect to your phone via Bluetooth and they help you find your misplaced items. So if you had this in your wallet or your purse and you misplaced that, you can easily go into the app on your phone, either iPhone or Android and make the device ring so you're able to find it. It also works in reverse. So if you happen to lose your phone, you can simply press the button on the device to make your phone ring. This is water and dust resistant, which is very cool. It's not a huge deal because this is kept in your wallet, but if you drop your wallet in water, it, it'll be okay. Subscriber. Uh, this does have Bluetooth 5.0, which is supposed to give you a longer range. Say the battery life is about three to four months. I will be doing an ongoing test of the battery. And some Bluetooth trackers have additional features. So let's go ahead and jump into the app for the Safe Dome and see what else it can do. The app is available on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and it's super easy to set up. I did notice that the first time that I set it up on my iPhone XR, you didn't need to make an account and the option was not even there. But as I continue to test this on other phones, my uh, Samsung S8 and my iPhone 7 Plus, the option of making an account was there. Although you did not have to create an account to connect this to your phone, which was very nice and unlike other Bluetooth trackers that you are forced to set up an account first. So I do like that. Once everything is set up and if your device is within Bluetooth range, hit the tap the ring button to make your device ring. Guys, I can barely hear that and that is right next to me. I'll put it next to the mic. This is super super soft and it stops ringing after like two or three seconds i wish it kept on ringing let's go ahead and put this on a sound meter to see how loud it is loudest there is 73.6 which is extremely low let's try this in reverse the app is running in the background some cards you have to double press i think on the safe dome you have to hold it little light blinks and there it is it rings your phone just like that very cool let's make sure this works on vibrate actually my phone was on vibrate and it still rang they say thickness is about two credit cards which that's just about right either way it's really not too thick for your wallet but let's go ahead and break out the tool to see how thick it really is and compare it to some other bluetooth trackers out there on the market first up we have the brand new extra card 3.0 which has its solar panels it comes in at 3.2 millimeters followed by the tile slim at 2.57 millimeters pebble b black card at 2.25 millimeters the cube shadow a little bit smaller at 2.22 millimeters the Chipolo card at 2.12 millimeters. And we have the Safe Dome at 1.70 millimeters. And the thinnest, which is the Orbit card at 1.55 millimeters. In the very near future, I will be doing a video on the best, world's best wallet Bluetooth trackers out there on the market currently. And I couldn't do that video without testing the Safe Dome because it's the only Bluetooth tracker currently on the market that has wireless charging. I really, really love that it's wireless. I love that you can put this into your wallet. 
um, and just throw this down onto a Qi charger and charge up whenever you need it. Um, they say it lasts from one to three months. I will be updating my full pros and cons list with that battery life, so definitely check that out. I can't tell you if it's gonna work in your wallet or not. It might be too thick. It might have a material in there that's like RFID blocking. There's too many wallets out there to tell you if it's gonna work with your wallet or not. You just have to try it and see. The thing that I always like to test with Bluetooth trackers is on iOS devices, if I shut down the app completely, am I still able to find my phone from the device? A lot of times, you know, back in the old days, you were not able to, and some devices, even today, you're still not able to find your iOS devices if you shut down the app, either accidentally or even on purpose. So let's go ahead and see if the safe dome can do it or not. This first test, I have the app running in the background. And as you can see, if I hold down the button, it will ring. Now I'm going to shut down the app completely on my iPhone 10R. Give it a shot. and it is not ringing. Sometimes it does take a few minutes to rejuvenate or do whatever it needs to do. So we're gonna come back in just a couple minutes and give it a shot. All right, we're back and let's give this another shot. And as you can see, Oh, come on. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on the iOS devices if you shut down the app accidentally or on purpose. But for my Android users out there, I did test it and it does work. I've never had a problem with Android. For some reason, it's just iOS devices that some Bluetooth trackers just don't work if you shut down the app. You can pick from six different alert sounds for your iPhone to ring when you press the button on the safe dome, but unfortunately you cannot change the sound of the actual safe dome unlike some other Bluetooth trackers. So have our range alerts or notifications, which if you happen to leave your device behind, it will ring your other device. So if you leave your safe dome behind, which is usually in your wallet, your phone will ring and vice versa. Now, because it is Bluetooth, it can be very finicky and give you some false alerts. But Safe Dome actually handles this pretty nice. They give you two or three different ways to handle these false alerts. One is silencing the alarm at certain locations like your house and your work. You don't want those alarms to go off accidentally in a business meeting. So they handle this by putting a geofence around your location and it will only go off if you leave that location. Now, if you're out and about, you don't want those all alarms going off all the time. So they handle this with a timer and it's a one minute timer that you can turn on and off. So if you do want to get notified more often, you can definitely keep it off. But if you don't want those notifications going off all the time, you can turn this timer on. And what happens is that it has to stay disconnected for one minute before it rings or notifies you and I tested this out and I am happy to report that it actually does work pretty well it comes to pricing is about $40 which is the going rate for a wallet Bluetooth tracker the other brands on the market that are cheaper are usually the throwaway ones uh, the rechargeable ones are about $40 so that is the, definitely the going rate be careful, the uh, Safe Dome does have a couple different models. They have the throwaway ones, which is much cheaper. Um, so just make sure that you're buying the rechargeable, the wireless rechargeable one. They also have multi-packs with a couple of their other Bluetooth trackers, like they have a key one, they have a little mini one. Personally, I'm not interested in those. I think there's better Bluetooth trackers out there on the market for your keys. Safe Dome really beat everyone to the market with their wireless one. So definitely if you have to have a wireless wallet tracker, Safe Dome is the one for you currently. So I love that it has wireless charging. I love the size of it. It's about two credit cards thick, but it does have some work to be done to it. I don't like how the volume is really, really low. It, you, you really can't hear it when it's in your wallet and then say if your wallet's in 
you know, like in the couch or something, you're definitely not gonna be able to hear it. So I would like to see the safe dome much, much louder. I also don't like how it doesn't work on the iOS devices if the app is shut down. So they definitely have to work on that. And then battery life can definitely get better. They say about two to three months. Unfortunately, I'm not able to test that for this video. But I will be updating my full pros and cons list on my website with the battery life. So definitely check out that website right up there. In the near future, I will be doing a distance test of the safe dome. So definitely stay tuned for that. And if that video is currently available, there will be a card right up there. So definitely check that out.